Hello everybody, I'm glad to say hello here. Today we are going to make in this video how to cut a bottle glass into a spiral shape. Okay, this is a very good design, very original, creative, and it is not so difficult to make it. I hope you like it. My name is Salvador Vilches and this is my channel Bottle and Art with Vilches. I hope you are following me. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. I invite you to do it and I really appreciate it because the more you share, more people will, will know and learn how to make these creations. I will show you these many techniques. All this in benefit of our environment. Okay, so thank you very much and let's start. Okay, before we start our process to elaborate a bottle into a spiral shape, okay, here I show you the most important materials we are going to need. Of course, a glass bottle, clean, washed, and labels taken taken off. Okay, we will need a flexible ruler. This will help us to measure and make some marks along the bottle. We can use a marker white or color marker we will need a soldering iron the glass cutter okay the ones for cutting flat glass okay we will use today also these diamond discs cutting disc discs you can find them on we can buy them online all right these, these are diamond glass cutting discs and we are also going to use um, I suggest you to use a rotary tool rotative tool this is the, what you see is the extension that I will attach to the, to the rotary tool rotative sorry masking tape electric tape and a mask it is an industrial mask to protect yourself from from any particles as well as glasses industrial glasses and mittens to protect yourself from we need, we will need, need a cutter a cutting knife or cutter a pencil, a pen to make some marks. These are basically all the materials we are going to use in our process. Okay. All right. So let's start. All right. All right. So I'm going to. I just change the bottle. Okay, I, I was using the, the blue bottle and when I started working with it, it broke and as I didn't want. We have to be careful when we do this. How are we going to measure on this green bottle? I'm going to make the marks. I'm going to mark every 2.5 centimeters or inches, every inch. I am going to mark, mark along the bottle. Okay, I use the white color so it can be seen easily. This is so you have to mark along the four sides of the of the bottle. Okay, now once you have all the bottle marked, we are going to use the tape. Okay. We start on the first dot. Okay. On the first dot, and we are going to place the tape 
from the first to the second dot and to the third and so on okay we're going to move the the tape along the the dots we already marked from the first one you have to make sure that it touches the second and then the third and the fourth and as as high as you want the bottle to be cut okay we use scissors to cut the tape okay try to to put the tape um, Uh, facing the the beginning with the end of the bottle okay so if you started on the right side you will finish on the right side it has to be parallel to the line okay so as you can see here in this bottle we finished in the same place where we started Then we are going to mark with the same tape. We are going to round the tips, the beginning and the end of, the, of our tape. They will have a rounded finish, a rounded tip. So we do it in the first and then the second, uh, at the beginning and at the end. Then with the cutter, we cut the the extra tape. The extra tape. We just make sure that our tape is round. And then you can see here the one side is round. And we cut the next one. Just be careful when you use the cutter. I recommend you, very important, you can use safety mittens. Don't forget, it is very important. I am wearing here my safety glasses as well. mask okay this mask is important for preventing for preventing any particle of dust glass dust or powder come to your nose or your mouth or eyes okay now with the rotative tool we are going to mark around the tape okay here I started the I started the tool the rotative tool and I'm going to make a, a mark along the tape you have to make sure that you your bottle is supported correctly so it doesn't move and very important also um, make sure that you make if, you, if possible just one one mark okay all around the tape try not to leave spaces without mark all right and just do it in one pass you can use this rotative tool or you can use the glass cutter as you can see here I almost finished marking the bottle I move it slowly I am the bottle is supported and I move it slowly especially around okay around the tips the bottom and the top all right all right I already finished marking the bottle I take off the tape as you can see here the marks you have to make sure it is completely marked 
this process is very important if you really want to have your bottle cut properly. This is the diamond disc I used. If you don't have a rotative tool, you can do it as you see at this moment. You can use a diamond disc. But uh, if you have a rotative tool, it will help you do the work much easier. Okay, I just left there are some parts left. Okay, there are some parts left, so I just had to just make sure there are no spaces left without marking or our our cut will not be made correctly okay 12 so bottle is completely marked now let's use heat Okay, we are going to use to cut to make the cut in our bottle we're going to use a soldering gun okay we're going to put the tip we're gonna place the tip in the middle of the bottle where we made the mark the, the mark we place the, the soldering gun a few seconds a few seconds as you can see here Okay, we can turn around, we can turn around the bottle, so as you can be, and how will you know if you're doing it correct? You will hear a crack, okay, you will hear a crack in the bottle, and that will happen after a few seconds, or maybe minutes. Okay, and that happens because of the heat on the mark. Okay. When that happens, we are going to follow the crack and you will move the iron, the soldering gun along the bottle and the, the crack will follow the heat. Okay. This requires time and patience. Okay. Just imagine that we are going to to cut slowly all the mark we we made along the bottom. It takes patience, but once we started the, the crack, it, it will be very easy to continue to go on. Important, don't leave the, the soldering gun for a long time on the bottle, on the cut, on the crack, because if you do it, then it will break. As you can see here, I already started the crack here. Okay, so the difficult part is done. Now we will, I hope you can see it here on the screen. You will, you will see how the crack starts following the soldering gun. The difficult part is done. Yeah, in this part we just have to be patient. Okay, as you, you can see the crack and you can hear the crack. Here you can see how it goes, it moves along following the soldering gun and the heat. Okay, the crack is running along the bottle. We just have to make sure that the crack follows all the mark we made. 
here we are am on the top of the bottle on the on the curve and we have to make sure the, the crack continues as we want if you mark all the bottle correctly the crack will come out correctly okay now we we'll continue here remember this process takes time and patience and practice and practice so if you have not done it you need some practice okay and i am sure that you will succeed eventually okay as you can see here i am on my way back on the bottom okay i am achieving our our goal look we are almost done and you can see the cracks okay i am on the second curve the cracks you hear that means that the bottle is cutting is being cut by the heat of the soldering gun and then that's it we have we're done okay i can i can i completed all the the cycle you can see here yeah it can be seen basically our bottle is already cut but we have to take away the glass that we don't need we are going to use our uh, rotative tool this part is important as you can see here i have my mask i am putting it on And I already have my glasses, my protective glasses. If I touch here, and I can see it is already broken, but I just have to separate. The easiest way I have found to make it is by using this rotative tool. We are going to cut between the marks, between the crack, okay, and then little by little this disc is too little so i'm going to make a i'm going to use a bigger one all right i place the bottle on the table and you can see there are some fragments particles flying around and look at that how easy the pieces start coming off okay you yes The bottle is already cut. We just not we just need to separate those little pieces inside the cracks. Here we are, almost done. All right. Our bottle is completely cut into a spiral you can see it looks beautiful okay what's next we are going to polish all the edge around the bottle all right, so here I am going to use uh, this tip with sand paper this is wet sandpaper. And I just start polishing the edge so it is not sharp. And you can take off any extra remainings from the bottle, from the glass. This just takes a little more. But 
that actually our bottle is already cut and finished. Now finally, our bottle is completely cut into a spiral. What do you think? Maybe I could sand a little more so it gives another uh, better finish. You can use sandpaper with water but this is our bottle in spiral shape. Now you know how to make it. And then the more practice you have, the better you will do. Okay, here then we have three different designs. I already cut, I already made with the spiral cuts. You can see this oscillating base and you can see how beautiful they look. Okay, so when you have your bottle, then you will find a place, a spot, okay, to use it. You can use it as a decoration, center table, as a lamp, yeah? So don't worry, your creativity will tell you. Okay, so here, we, this is the end of the video. And here you can see how they look. I hope you like this video. I invite you to subscribe to my channel, give me your support, send me messages, questions, doubts, and I, and here I have a phrase, if you felt yesterday, just stand up today. Thank you very much, my friends. Be fine, and I hope you to see you soon. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.